All right, let's go ahead and discuss writing and solving equations with variables on both sides. So one type of problem that would cause you to need an equation with variables on both sides would be when they give you two different options and ask you, when are these options the same? When are they equal? So in this problem, we see here we have Polly's printers will print business cards for $15 plus 10 cents each card. Christie's cards will print business cards for $10 plus 15 cents per card. What number of business cards cost the same from either printer? So we have these two companies, right? We have Polly's printers and they charge $15 up front and 10 cents for each card. Then we have Christie's cards and they charge $10 up front and then 15 cents per card. So when, how many cards do I have to buy so that it doesn't really matter which printer I choose, I'm gonna pay the same amount. So the way we wanna do this is we want to write an expression for each different option that tells how much it's gonna to cost to order cards from them. So for Polly's printers, obviously, obviously we'll use a P and for Christie's cards, we'll use a C. And so let's go ahead and write our expression for Polly's printers. So we have $15 up front plus 10 cents each card. Let's go ahead and use C as our variable for cards. So in Polly's printers, our expression is going to be 15 plus 0.10 or 0.1 C. Now in Christie's cards, they charge $10 up front and then 15 cents per card. So the expression for Christie's cards will be 10 plus 0.15 C. And all I have to do now to make this into the equation that I need to solve this problem is to put an equal sign in between these two expressions. So the equation I write to solve this problem is 15 plus 0.10 C equals 10 plus 0.15 C. So let's go ahead and go through the process of solving this equation. Remember when you have variables on both sides of an equation, we have to eliminate one and you can make life a whole lot easier on yourself if you eliminate the variable of lesser value. So in this case, that's gonna be on this left side, 0.10c is less than 0.15c, and it's positive, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract 0.10c from both sides of this equation. Now these on the left, 10c minus 0.10c, cancel each other out. Remember we call that additive inverse, and that leaves me on the left-hand side with my 15. And on the right-hand side, 0.15c minus 0.10c is 0.05c. And I can't forget to bring down this 10 here. So now my equation is 15 equals 10 plus 0.05c. And that's your basic two-step equation. And so in order to get c alone, I have to deal with this 10, this 0.05. And 0 0.05 is multiplying C, so I can't do that yet. I have to undo addition or subtraction first, addition or subtraction. So I'm going to get rid of this positive 10, and the way I'm going to do that is subtract 10 from both sides. These 10 minus 10 cancel each other out, leaving me on the right with my 0 0.05C, and on the left I have 15 minus 10, which is 5. So finally, to solve this equation, all I have to do is divide both sides by 0 0.05. And so if you think about this decimal here, in order to make this 0 0.05 the same as this 5, I just to move two decimal places to the right. So that's the same as 100. So basically, 5 divided by 0 0.05 is 100. Okay, so my answer here is C equals 100. So in order to, the number of cards I need to order so that I'm paying the same no matter which printer I choose is 100 cards. Now we can go one step further and figure out, okay, how much money am I gonna pay if I order 100 cards from each one of these printers? So what I wanna do is pick one side and substitute 100 for C. So let's go ahead and pick Poly side. So I have 15 plus 0.1 times C, which we now know is 100. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and multiply here 
0.1 times 100. Again, we have two zeros. Whenever you multiply by a base 10 number, you just move the decimal point to the right as many times as there is zero. So I go 1, 2, and so we know that 0.1 times 100 is 10. So we have 15 plus 10 is 25. So now I know that if I order 100 cards, I'm going to pay the same no matter which printer I choose, and I'm going to be paying $25 to order those 100 cards. Okay, I hope this helps you understand writing and solving equations with variables on both sides.